Hi guys, it's Maka and Chloe here and we're currently in the beautiful city of Dusseldorf. We flew here direct from London with Eurowings and it's only taken us 15 minutes to reach the Altstadt, the old town. So we've got an amazing couple of days exploring all Dusseldorf has to offer and we're also going to get out of the city to a few special spots too. So come join us as we share with you guys our 48 hour guide to Dusseldorf. Woo! We've come down to one of those popular spots in Dusseldorf. This is the Rhine Promenade and it connects the old city with the new city. And on a day like today when the sun is shining, this is the place to be. This is my kind of place. We're currently taking a walk through Cologne's Belgian Quarter and this is a very cool area filled with cute boutiques, there's loads of street art and I've heard there's some really good cafes around here and I'm in need of a coffee. We are currently at Benrath Palace which is just behind me. Now this place is over 200 years old and if you can believe it, it was built as a summer palace. Now I don't know about you but my summer palaces do not look anything like this. is this place, Solbride. Now you can probably tell from its industrial appearance that it once was used in coal mining, but these days the area's been completely regenerated. It's now a super cool spot for art, food and leisure activities. the 45 meters up here to the top of the Ruhr Museum and it's from somewhere like this that you really get a sense of the scale of this place. I mean it is massive, it goes on from there to there to there. Huge! Is it bigger than you? It's bigger than me! So as you know Germans absolutely love their beer so we're about to go on an alt beer safari. This is the big five best microbreweries in the area. Now here's a bit of a fact for you, Dusseldorf has the longest bar in the world which is a very small area with 300 pubs and bars where you can get loads of beers, we're going to five of them, should be fun. We're currently on to beer number three on our beer safari. Uh, this is such a good way of getting to know Dusseldorf, the history, the area. Only problem is, not quite sure what to hit beer five. I'm going to remember to get home, but cheers. This very eerie place is the Duisburg Landschaftspark, which is a disused coal and steel plant. But today it's more of an adventure playground where you can climb through the structures, you can get to the top for an unbelievable view of the landscape around. Also, if you love photography as much as I do, you've got to come here in the evening. This place is lit up in blues and greens and reds, and yeah, it's this crazy kaleidoscope of colors that makes this place just unlike anywhere else in the world. Beautiful, industrial, quirky and urban, this trip around North Rhine-Westphalia has been full of surprises. From drinking alt beer in Dusseldorf's Old Town to shopping in Cologne's Belgian Quarter. We look forward to exploring more of this region soon. 